You may have applied for dozens of cybersecurity jobs and heard nothing. Well, here's the truth. Hiring managers aren't just looking for skills. They're looking for the right mix of attitude, ability, and awareness. Now, I've been a recruiter for over 14 years, a lot of it in cybersecurity. And today, I'm pulling back the curtain on exactly what gets you noticed and what makes hiring managers hit delete. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Luke, a cybersecurity recruiter, career coach, and your inside source on how to get hired. If you're aiming for an entry-level cybersecurity role then this video is for you it will give you the checklist that hiring managers are actually using and stick around to the end because i'll share my personal hiring manager green flags a list that you can use before you apply to make sure your resume gets shortlisted let's get straight into it okay section one core skills that actually matter so let's be real here hiring managers don't expect you to be a hacking genius straight out of the gate but they do want to see the following they want to see a foundational technical knowledge so basic knowledge of networking os fundamentals and security principles. They're looking for people who are familiar with cyber tools and seen platforms. They want to see people with certifications or at least working towards certifications like the CompTIA Network Plus, the Security Plus, even the Google Cyber Security Certificate. This signals a level of commitment that you're in this for the long term. They look for people with problem solving mindset. So think about being able to explain how you'd approach an incident even if you've never faced one. Remember, this video is about entry level. So let me give you an example of the kind of response that stands out even if you don't have certifications yet. So imagine you're in an interview for a junior stock analyst role and you asked if you received a suspicious email from a colleague how would you handle it? Well a strong answer might sound something like this. Step one don't click on any links or attachments and isolate the email. Step two verify the sender's address and compare it to any known contacts and step three report it immediately through the security ticketing system so the instant response team can investigate. And finally document the process for compliance purposes. So an answer like this shows very clear practical thinking, which is exactly what hiring managers want. The technical skills can be taught later, but mindset and process are hard to train. Okay, so moving on to section two, soft skills that separate you. So hiring managers want to see people that can communicate clearly. They want people who have the ability to explain technical risks to non-technical people. So remember in a business, there'll be lots of different stakeholders that you may deal with. Most of them won't be cyber security professionals and won't understand the jargon that you may know. So being able to communicate technical scenarios and technical risks clearly is a big boost for you. Team collaboration. So cyber roles rarely operate in isolation. Curiosity. They want people who can demonstrate ongoing learning. So mention I follow XYZ threat reports or I'm currently learning Python. They definitely want reliability, turning up, hitting deadlines and being consistent. Hiring managers have told me in the past that soft skills often outweigh technical gaps for juniors because they can train tech, but they can't train attitude. I can't stress that enough. All right, section three, the resume and interview perspective. So it is so important. I've gone on about this so much in my videos, but tailor your CV and make sure it's ready for ATS systems. Keyword matching the job descriptions. Remember, when you do your CV, look at the job description, make sure that any keywords they're looking for are clearly in your resume. Sometimes I've seen great resumes on paper who people have the right skills for the job, but they don't pass the ATS system because their CV isn't tailored properly. Okay, also quantify achievements. So make sure you put things that actually show what you've done. For example, completed 10 security labs or did this cybersecurity course. Make sure you clearly put that down. Also make sure you show evidence of applied learning. So look at projects, labs, home lab setups, any of this, make sure you do that. In interviews, focus on process over perfection. Walk them through how you'd respond to a breach alert. Section four, common entry level mistakes that I see. So applying for jobs far beyond your current skill set. I see this too often. People who use generic cover letters, talking only about what you want, not what value you bring. Overloading your CV with buzzwords, but no proof. All these things here are common mistakes I see candidates do. So make sure you're relevant for the job and it isn't too far above what you can do. Don't just use generic cover letters, tailor it for the position you're applying for. You can use this opportunity to actually write an email or write a cover letter directly directly to the hiring manager or whoever you can get hold of who's relevant and tell them about why your skills stand out. If you're talking about only what you 
want. They're not interested in that so much. They want to know what value you can bring to the firm. And overloading your CV with buzzwords, but no proof. Once again, don't cut out the jargon, cut out the fluff. Put down words and back it up with proof. Section five, hiring manager green flags. So before you click apply, check if you have the following. One to two relevant certifications or training completions. Two, at least one project lab or home lab you can discuss. Three, tailored resume with matching keywords. Remember ATS. Now I've done a video on this that I can link in the description below. It's on my channel. It talks through all about ATS resumes and how to overcome that. Four, put down an example of a security problem you've solved. Even if it's simulated, still put it down. And five, demonstrate enthusiasm for learning a new application. People like enthusiasm. They want you to want to work for them. They want to see your passion come through. Don't miss that. So once again, just to recap, the five green flags hire manager look for, one to two relevant certifications or training completions, at least one project lab or home lab you can discuss, tailored resume with matching keywords, an example of a security problem you've solved, and demonstrate enthusiasm for learning in your application. Hope you've enjoyed this video. If you want more like this, subscribe and hit the bell. I post weekly on how to get hired in cybersecurity and general career advice. And if you want direct coaching or a resume review, my links are in the description. Remember the right candidate isn't always the one with the most skills, but the one who shows they can grow into the role. Thanks for watching. As always, keep leveling up your career and I'll see you all in the next video.